James Forrest Phil's new bitten mentor role at Celtic FC. And yes this guy is still playing football, but, former Celtic star Shunsuke Nakamura, to retire at end of year. Liel Abada insists, Celtic centurion James Forrest, provides him with daily advice and inspiration. The Israeli winger is full of admiration for the Parkhead hero, who penned the latest fantastic chapter in his fairytale career with a weekend hat-trick against Hibs in the Hoops 6-1 victory. Abada was just eight years of age when Forrest scored his first top-team goal for Celtic on debut against Motherwell in May 2010. Over a dozen years later, the attacker has netted in every top-flight season since and has now taken his overall tally to the 100 mark. With 20 winners' medals and 99 assists also in the bank, few would argue with Angie Postacoglu's assessment that Forrest is a club legend. At the age of 31, there's still more to come before he is done and, as a fellow winger, Abida rates his colleague in the highest regards as both a player and a person. He's picking up information and tips from his senior pal every single day as they work together at Lennox Town. Abida said, Jamesy is a really good friend and he has been able to teach me so much. He has been at the club for a long time, has played a lot of games and scored a lot of goals. I can learn so much from him and I was so happy to see him score a hat-trick. I speak with him all the time and he gives me a lot of advice. What I admire most about him is his movement and technique and his finishing is good. I'm happy to have him as a teammate and, hopefully, he can keep scoring for us because he deserves it. Forrest's value to the group is beyond question. Postacoglu made it crystal clear when a new contract was dished out at the end of last season that there was no sentiment about it. For a start, the manager always felt there would be occasions when his Scotland international would need to deliver. The weekend treble against Hibbs on his first start of the campaign showed that was the correct call, just as some impressive outings from the bench in the matches beforehand had signalled. Forrest, though, is just as important behind the scenes. The likes of he and Callum McGregor are glue which help bond the dressing room. Homegrown talents, boys who know the club inside out and can guide newer acquisitions with both words and deeds. Abida loves it. Last season having just started his adventure in Scotland, he was grateful to have countryman New Bitten as a big brother. He said, Nir helped me a lot last year because it was my first time coming to Scotland and I didn't speak English. I didn't know the language, but he always looked after me. It really helped me. We are still friends, we still speak via FaceTime, and I wish him all the best. Former Japan and Celtic star Shunsuke Nakamura, currently at Yokohama FC in the J. League Second Division, is set to retire at the end of the season, sources familiar with the matter said Monday. The 44-year-old midfielder, known for his deadly set-piece deliveries with his left foot, played 98 games for Japan, scoring 24 goals, and was part of the 2006 and 2010 World Cup squads. The two-time J. League MVP has scored 73 goals in 408 games in J1. His 24 goals from free kicks are the most in the league's history. After making his debut with Yokohama Marinos in 1997, Nakamura quickly became a popular name in the J. League and featured regularly for Japan, but was a shock omission by the then-manager Philippe Trussi ahead of the Home World Cup in 2002. Nakamura joined Regina that summer and spent three seasons in Italy's Serie A before signing for Scottish giant Celtic, where he became a fan favourite and shone in the Champions League during his four-year spell. Following a half-year stint at Espanyol in Spain's La Liga, Nakamura returned to Marinos in 2010 before joining Jubilo Iwata in 2017. Nakamura has been with Yokohama FC since 2019. He has played five games this season in J2 and the side won promotion to J1 on Sunday. Nakamura has voiced his desire to take up a coaching role in the future. And on that note have a great day Celtic fans all around the world.